All right, if you're all about tens, this isn't the video for you. I do not expect any gems out of this little submission, but let's run through the cards real quick. Leading us off, a 2005 Bowman Chrome Barry Bonds Refractor. I think this card runs around 50 to 60, 40 to 60, kind of on a, on a wider range. Definitely pretty well centered on the front, as far as left to right. Top to bottom a little off. A little heavy on the bottom there. Back, it's definitely off, but this guy I expect maybe around a nine. I think the surface was pretty well good. I bought this at a local auction and I'm sending it in. Figured the uh, tux would look good on the black there. So, next up, if you watch my Spokane Valley card show video, I'm actually going to send this in just on the pure fact that I'm just curious on. I feel like the value will increase once. The game worn piece of William McCovey's kind of encapsulated. I think the value go up. This isn't much of a card. I think this is like a two dollar, three dollar card, if I recall. But the fact that you can find a game worn, I don't think it has any specific game. I don't remember a piece of game used uniform worn by William McCovey in an official Major League Baseball game. So this guy, I'm expecting around an eight, just because it's a thicker card and there's a lot of edges. The edges. I didn't really find, I didn't really look it over too much. I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm sending it in regardless. So I'm expecting an eight at least, or at most there. Bow Nose, we've all seen this card before. I pulled this out of a pack, I believe, opening on here on the channel. Pretty well centered on the front. Just a little mark maybe up there, but it's not too bad enough to send in. I'm thinking possibly eight and a half to nine on this. We shall see. That black, white, with the black white tux. I don't think you can go wrong with that look. One of the more, any kind of like a black white picturesque kind of art image, I think will shine as we could probably all agree in the SGC slab. Fred Warner rookie card auto out of playoff here. What is this back 2018? This guy had, I got this out of a points redemption from Panini. I have yet to ever hit I have like three stacks of like points still added up and it's impossible to get on there with any decent. Everyone says they drop on Friday, but I just never have the time to actively be waiting by a computer. Maybe someday. Little corner smidgen down here. It came like that, unfortunately. So it's going to knock the, the value down. This little like funny stuff you see down here, kind of like, that's just how the cards are. They all have that. It's like part of the design but it almost looks like there was like some kind of paint or print manufacturer issue there, but it's really not. I guess they're all like that. Anyways, since it's a thicker card, it got a little banged up. I'm gonna go high as eight and a half on this. Probably hit the PC though. I just wanted to send it in. A lot of these are PC specific and I just want to send it in. Reason why I'm probably not getting any tens. Tony Gwynn, 1983, I almost said two. Three, two is Kyle Ripken. Tops rookie card, so. I got this at a local auction, I believe, too. It's heading off to the right a little bit, as we can see. But all in all, the corners, this bottom corner's got a little bit of an issue. Little little edge there, you can see, heading into the corner. But the, the rest of them are pretty, corners maybe a little soft on the right there. And same kind of issue-ish down there. This, I'm gonna guess between a seven and an eight. Eight could be pushing pretty high, regardless, to get a Tony Gwynn encapsulated. Works for me. Tops traded Emmett Smith. I got this at a local auction too. Looked pretty straight. A little bit of edge chipping there on the on the side, down there at the bottom, as we can see. Right there. So not too sure how much that's gonna get dinged. It's heading down maybe a little bit. I mean, centered pretty well, but that shipping's gonna hurt. I'm giving this maybe a seven, possibly in between two and eight, just because of that, that edge there. Not quite sure how much they're gonna ding it. This guy is very clean on the front. A Pro Set 1990 Emmett Smith rookie. Very clean on the front. I pulled this out of a pack, and I was, I was hesitant to send it in. I was like, oh, I'll send it in. As far as centering, don't know on this card, because there's no borders, obviously. I don't know what you can go off as the thickness of these blues supposed to be the same. Um, as far as left and right, you know, it's it's a crapshoot there. You can maybe try to see where the edge of this 
helmet hits the edge of that card along with the edge of this NFL logo to the edge of the card. But over on the right, there's really not much to go off. So on the back is where the issues lie. A lot of chipping up here on the top corner, bottom, whitening. On the back, it's kind of, I mean, I want to say it's rough as a word, but it's hindering the aspect of higher grade for sure. Gonna send it in, see what happens. All, both these Emmets I'll sell. I am a Niners fan, so that star logo unfortunately does not hold value in this house. Anyways, that guy, I think, I don't know if I already said, seven to seven and a half maybe. Brett Favre score rookie, 91. This guy I'm hitting at eight to nine, I think. Settering looks, well, it looks, uh, <laughs> looks pretty straight. Bottom corner had whitening down there. On the surface, I can't recall if there was an issue on this guy, but most of these I didn't really go through on the surface or I didn't care. I'm mainly grading these. The reason I'm giving them grades based on edge wear corners and centering. I didn't go heavy on surface for these to, because I, I, I just didn't expect any of these to get nines, just the condition of what I was seeing based on those three components. A 1993 Mike Piazza Flair rookie card. Maybe remember this set flare was very pinnacle to say the least when it first came out i was digging these cards i think many others at the time collecting were too because it was just kind of groundbreaking the way they had these roll out thicker card stock and they were extremely expensive hard to get your hands on so i remember trading for a lot of these when i could i'm not quite sure what i really had this off i think there's a corner issue there it's been a pc card so I was collecting back then. I've held this card for whatever reason still. But I think since it's Dodger Blue, it's time to get rid of him and put him in a slab. He just kind of, I think, entered the the not, the not submission to bring it up to a 10, even 10 card instead of 9. So uh, 8 to 9 maybe on that. Shohei, I pulled this out of a pack. Only reason why I'm sending it in because I think it looks very straight and clean this might be the only candidate for a 10 and i felt like this would be a good looking card in tux as well and it's shohei so maybe those three factors are rolling in and it just it just looked clean this is probably the only candidate out of all these submission cards potentially get a 10 but i probably overlooked something maybe a surface issue actually now that i see it i'm not quite sure if that's sleeve on the card down there right below his s see that little dimple I don't know if that's like it said I didn't really look I just felt like this would be a good looking card in tux so that's it that will be the submission stay tuned in the next few seconds and we'll be opening the package for a blind reveal okay here we go the box has arrived literally two weeks to the day that SGC received this order it is back in my hands what is the business days on that 10 business days if that so Extremely satisfied with SGC's turnaround. If you happen to skip and miss the preview of these cards, welcome. Looks like you just missed out on a $100 giveaway. You may want to go back. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Welcome to the blind reveal. We do have a box, so that's good. I haven't had a box from them before. I haven't had actually a big enough order to qualify for a box, so... Here we go, it is definitely tuxedo time, very excited. It's always the fun part of the hobby, or one of the fun parts of the hobby of getting graded cards back. And which way we're going. Hopefully, looks like they don't have them in order. Because that Fred Warner was not, I think that was more so in the middle. And if you did happen to stick around for the preview, I will kind of, sorry, having trouble here. I will review what I expect to get on these, trying to figure this out. Where did those rubber bands go? They like just disappeared. Here they are. Lordy. All right, we're gonna get there someday. All right, let me see if I can put these in order real quick because that's how I have them on my sheet. I don't want to be skipping around. All right, so it looks like those 
I wonder if they put that in the middle for a reason, which I don't see. I think you take this out. Let's see, we have a Tony Gwynn next, then the Emmett Smith, then it should be, I think we're back. All right. Starting off with Shohei, there's a nice mark in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get these a little bit better on screen. Straight up on the black, they mark that up right there. This was the only card, oh, there's another mark up here. What is going on, SGC? Oh, there's a giant mark. I don't like that at all. All the way on their black. I don't know if you're able to see that with the glare. I'm trying to find a Anyways, enough of that mark. This was the only card that I could possibly expect getting a 10 out of all these cards. So nothing too special, just a 1986 Shohei Otani. And we did get a 10 on that. So that's good to know, I expected that most likely. It just seemed pretty well good. I don't think I really looked over the surface too much on this. Might have a long time ago, but anyways. I actually put Refractor on here. Even though all Topps Chrome 86 redos are Refractors. So, anyways. 10 on that boy, boy. Bye, 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 bye. Bad boy. All right, Piazza. Probably going to sell this. Was PC. This was like one of my first flare cards. This one I had between an 8 and 9. And I really squeezed it in there, but I'm trying to see. Yeah, there's some. Anyways, let's see what Piazza got. He got an eight, so it's about expected. Of what I was thinking along those lines, between eight and nine. Yeah, they, they really, you can see on the edge here, and down here on the bottom, really slam that card in there. Just because it's probably thicker card stock. So it's getting pressed on the plastic pretty well. And then do a, a raised version. All right. Rip Favre rookie card. What is this? Uh, 91 score. I have between an 8 and 9. Wow. <laughs> this got killed. It is a 5. I guess the chipping and surface hurt it. I mean, the the chipping was only down here maybe, and maybe to the left. I don't know, I guess surface got hit pretty hard on this somewhere. I guess, oh, there's a crease right there. I, how did I miss that? It's crazy how you miss things like that, but you do. So you can see that right there. I completely missed that somehow. My mistake, good on their part, of course. I'm not gonna knock them for doing their job and not my job. Emmett Smith, what is this, 90 Pro set, rookie card, an eight. Yep, I had this between a seven to seven and a half. So actually that was higher than what I had it as. So that's good to see. Can't believe I missed that mark on that Brett Favre. Ooh, that was bad. All right, a 90 tops traded Emmett Smith rookie card. I had this at a seven, a solid seven. I think the chipping on the front, if I recall, was pretty bad. So we got an eight. I think the chipping down there on the right kind of knocked it down, but. That's higher than what I expected, so that's good to see. So, so far, I think I've been pretty much on the mark. This Tony Gwynn I have between a seven and eight. Tony Gwynn rookie card, 1983 tops. Looks pretty clean, I got this at a local auction. But the slab is, got a scratch on it. In there, got my finger there. All right, so uh, what did I say? Between a seven and eight, we got a six. So one down from what I was hoping. 
trying to see. There's another crease I missed. Hmm. I mean, the centering, I, I understand it's to the right. It's down a touch. But the corners weren't too bad, aside from the bottom. It maybe it might have been a little soft. But, anyways, won't kill too much time on that. Tony Gwynn, we have a Fred Warner rookie card auto from Playoff. I have an eight and a half on this. It might be worse. <laughs> There's some, some bad edge down there in a corner, and then also on the front was the same. So, this received a nine and a half. Yikes. I was not expecting that at all. I didn't see this getting a nine and a half. Those white corners. So, especially that corner. That corner was rough. Those little marks right there, that's part of the design. But that bottom white right there is the problem of the car. You have the auto a 10. Filled up the sticker. Interesting. Well, that was higher than I thought. And Bono's big iconic card from 1990 score. What I have on this? Eight and a half to nine. Eight and a half is what I hit. That card looks beautiful on that slab. You have to admit. That is a very good looking card in the tux. hoping for a little bit better nine would have been nice but maybe they saw something that anyways I still hit the mark of what I was expecting I think everything besides that Brett Favre which is my mistake it's been pretty spot on if you saw the Spokane Valley card show you might remember this card being picked up a lot of you actually mentioned it I believe in the comments Lily McCovey, what is this? A 19. No, nope. <laughs> 2001. It is game used uniform worn by Willie McCovey. So, pretty cool card. And it's only like a couple bucks, I think. And to me, just getting this encased in a slabs SGC, kind of the blackish, would look good for it. I have this as a solid eight. Let's see. I got a nine and a half. So that is great. <laughs> great nonetheless. Really cool card, I think. Just the piece of vintage cloth right there. Worn by him. Hall of Famer there. Stretch. All right, the final card. This would be the most expensive card of the bunch. Barry Bonds 2005 Refractor. I have this as a solid nine. So, seeing one mark down there on the corner. There's a little kind of like line on it. So that, don't recall that. I don't know if they did that, but that's probably gonna get docked and now after seeing it. And a eight and a half on the Barry Bonds Refractor. Yeah, that corner. I cut, probably could have missed it, but that's probably what's hurting. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying hard to get the zoom going, but I'm not gonna, come on. Oh well, regardless, I just seen that and it could have been me. So I'm not gonna complain overall. I think I did pretty well with everything. I think the big surprise would be that Willie McCovey and what was probably the Fred Warner. Those were the two tops traded. Emmett Smith wasn't too bad. Obviously that Brett Favre is pretty rough. That was expected on the 10 of the Shohei. So, nonetheless, 
we got cards sliding. Thanks for joining me if you're still sticking around and made it this far. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Some of these will go to the PC. Some particularly ones will head off to the interwebs of the eBay store. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all take care. Have a good one.